Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. This is one of my favoriteest, favorite, favorite Final Fantasies ever. Like, this and Final Fantasy IX are like my pinnacle Final Fantasy experience. I realized that there was like a, an intro with a song before this, and the song was really good. I'll put a link to it in the description. But there's singing in that song, and that I generally associate singing with copyright strikes, and I don't want any of those. So I just finished that, and we're here. Dawn. The morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow, I set out in search of Myrrh. Let's go! You will have to collect drops of myrrh from lands far and wide to keep your crystal glowing. So basically, the gist of this is it's on a yearly cycle. And you got a big crystal in the town, but the crystal needs crystal energy. And you gotta get three shots, or rather three drops, of crystal energy from different crystals, like crystal powering plants that just exist naturally and you get three drops a year and then it protects you from the miasma because the whole world is covered in like horrible miasma poison death so unless you have a crystal you just kind of die and you don't want your town to die so you get three drops a year and the town's fine and you go out every year i played this game 17 years ago when i was 10 and it was pretty dope I absolutely loved it. It was even better with multiplayer. Apparently a problem with the with the, this version, but that's okay because I don't really do that for YouTube anyway. Build your caravan. You'll need a strong party to help you run a caravan on your adventure. Choose up to eight members from four tribes. Wait a minute. Can you have multiple people in offline? Clavets. A tribe of warmth. The Clavets seek unity and friendship above all else. They are down-to-earth, peaceful, and see all others as friends, no matter their background. I like them. Lilti. A proud warrior tribe steeped in tradition. The Liltis once ruled the continent. Though hot-headed, their frank nature makes them admirable merchants. I don't really care for them. I'm not gonna lie. They just don't look good to me. I'm sure they're probably everyone's absolute favorite. Not for me. Pukes are pretty cool. They kind of remind me of, like, Freya from Final Fantasy IX. Except I don't know that they're rat people. A soft-spoken tribe of wisdom and research. The Ukes once used magic to resist the might of the Liltis. Their otherworldly physical forms are said to be simply souls that augment their magical abilities. And the Selkie. A tribe of individualists. The Selkie clothe themselves in furs and stolen goods. Their almost primal of agility has led many Selkies to take up a life of brigandry and thievery. So basically, amazing, amazing, keep it away from me, and amazing. I don't remember if we can create multiple characters, but I'm pretty sure we only control one at once. So... Oh my god. Look at how many different looks there are now. There was, I think there was only two before. Raccoon Tail. Alright, so I'm thinking Clavet or Selkie. Yukes are really cool, but I'm not feeling a Yuke right now. Am I? God, their gloves are so fuzzy. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure that Headband and Cowlick are the two original ones. And for the Selkie, I believe the Wolfie and Bandana are the original ones. I could be wrong. Either way, this stuff looks great. And I'm actually getting... Nostalgia over that that noise The back noise I'm like why does that make me feel like childhood I think I'm gonna go with headband No, how do I play noise Okay, that's way too deep I'll take this one Oh, that's right, we get jobs! Oh my god, we get jobs, dude! Jobs. You ain't even tell me what it does? You ain't even gonna tell me what it does? I don't remember. We only get one. Miller makes bread, Fisher gets fish. Ratchet makes money, maybe? 
Alchemist potions, rancher's meat, farmer's vegetables or something? Tailor's clothes? Like, if am I going to be missing out? Like, blacksmith sounds supremely useful. Can you blacksmith? Because I assume that's, like, super meta. Like, beyond meta. No, but you, why you be so far away? Okay. I'm Crow. We're a clavet, we've got a headband, we have a voice, and we're blacksmiths. He looks like a blacksmith, doesn't he? It's like the most blacksmithy blacksmith I've ever seen. Today, you finally step out into the world in search of myrrh. You came safely back to Tipa, all right? Or you come safely back to Tipa, all right? Tipa is the default name, but I was like, why change it? It's Tipa. Should you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us. We'll forge you a fine weapon. Okay, yeah, we definitely needed to be a blacksmith. If we're only going to have one character, blacksmith was a requirement. That's what I was scared of. I was like... <laughs> Maybe I just need to make all eight characters so that all eight jobs exist, but then we only play one? I'm not too sure, to be honest. It's been 17 years. Hey. And I never actually beat this game. Don't worry, I'll take care of mother and father. Thank you, Ramsey. You'll be back soon, right? <laughs> be sure to eat well. I love that we have a family. I love that we exist in this world. I love the graphics. I love the music. I love the font. Crow, the blacksmith's son, is sent off by his father, Arian, and his mother, Christy, his brother, Ramsey, and his sister, Polly. Names that will soon be forgotten. Except for maybe Arian, because he's probably the blacksmith dude. I'm like, dude, there's like actual, like, real-life jobs. Try moving your caravan. Your caravan done moved. Oh my god, we got a thingy on the road. We're gonna meet friends, probably. I don't remember if you need food and stuff in this game, but I remember things being adorable and looking delicious. It's a Moogle Koopo. Hail, fellow caravaner. Yo, they read the dialogue? There's voice acting? You are the caravan from that village, are you not? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. Game just got better. My name is Soul Rock. I think I used to call him Soul Ratchet. I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress at Alpataria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? From Final Fantasy IX confirmed. His name's actually Stiltskin. This is the village caravan. Come on, say hello. Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. Oh my god, Stiltskin has a voice. I learned all sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Teach me everything. Wait. This is the tutorial. It'll probably take forever. I can press the A button. I highly recommend you accept his offer. Yes, you wouldn't want to miss out. Well, I'm sure he will do just fine. That's true. By the way, are you setting out all by yourself, Capo? You've got a lot on your shoulders, Capo. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Capo. That's Armog, and Armog talks. I remember being able to spray paint Armog. Can we still spray paint Armog? Yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Be careful out there. You don't want to get in over your head. It's too late. I already skipped the tutorial. I remember this game being fairly simple. Adventuring Council. Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Sol Racht, leader of the caravan from Alphateria. He recommended I ask the musical Stiltskin for advice, but I decided to hurry on instead, choosing death. So this is the first one, the River Bell Path. There's water and wind here. 
I know you can throw the chalice -y thing on the, the magic -y things and it does magic stuff, but I'm like... I don't remember much about this game. Other than, like, if you combine spells, they got bigger. You may adventure into dungeons either in single player or multiplayer mode. Choose which mode you would like to play before entering the dungeon. You may also choose to play multiplayer via the set out together option. I would like to do single, because this is a let's play. They say that wicked creatures prowl the road along this beautiful riverbank, but nobody's ever seen one. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten. But it is long since anyone has met such a fate. But nowadays, people take another route, far away from the spooky old road. Only we walk the old way now. Travelers in crystal caravans. The water looks dope. For the record, there was absolutely no exposition in the intro that we skipped. Absolutely none. River Bell Path. Yep, nostalgia. These are all the different, like, there's different foods that you can get. And then, like, you have different tastes. I don't know if it's based on your race and gender and stuff. I didn't get a pick. I wish I got a pick. But you can like drink water and then there's all kinds of tasty foods and then you got weapons and stuff and you can like fuse magic things. I don't have anything I can put on here. I wanted to put, oh wait, yeah, I can put these on here. I don't want to use all of it. This is probably good. Bonus is to open treasure chests. So basically, I, Mog, do you pick it up? Or do I have to press a button to make you pick it up? Alright, so I press that button and then Mog picks it up. So that miasma I was telling you about is really over the whole world. So we have a tiny crystal on our chalice. Drop it, Mog. For multiple players, not a problem. Single player, you gotta do the stuff. Is this not enough? Okay, so I press that down with the chalice and then you press this down. Multiplayer, you can just have two people go over it. But this opens the bridge. But the chalice really do be like that. If you've got two people, then one character has to carry it. You don't get the mog. Okay. Eh. Oh no. Alright, so one full combo would have taken him out. What is that? Is that a phoenix down? Oh god, don't start drifting on me. One full combo already beats them, we're gods. I can change this mid-combat. There's no reason to do that there. Can I use this multiple times? And how do I... Fire. Ow. I dare you burn and ate my face. It's going to take a while getting used to these controls again. But, like, they drop magical spells. I wish it was A to pick those up. And then you can get the spells and you can cast things. And if you've got multiple people and you all cast the same spell, like, how there's, like, a circle on the ground here? And everybody casts it in the same spot, it becomes, like, Fira. And if three people do it, it's, like, Fraga. I don't know what, I don't know what four would be. I never had four. But, like... There's actually environmental stuff, because you see how there's water on the ground? If I had lightning or ice, I could freeze it or, uh, bazapinate it. I got a fish. So if I drop this, this changes our element to water. And I don't remember what that does, but it's blue, and blue is a better color than red. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna walk over here so he doesn't see me. No. You're not even ready for how environmental damage. Look at that. Still burning. 
This was a 2003 game. It's got environmental stuff and everything. Basically Skyrim. Except less buggy. Take that Skyrim. Oh, already dodged. This game is so simple. It's it's so it's so nice. It's so refreshing. It's so relaxing. It's so everything I wanted in the last 17 years. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh, it's a seed. Vegetable seed. If we were like a farminator, then we could like farm that and grow things. Look, we could make it a wind element. Oh, I gotta do it from both sides. Okay, well, I mean, I don't mind opening the path. I'm pretty sure this doesn't stay open. Whenever you get a drop, it's depleted, so the next year you can't come back here. I mean, you could, you just wouldn't get a drop of myrrh. But every other year, it comes back, so you can indefinitely do this. I think you can beat the game by, like, year 10 or something, but as a kid, by, like, year 35, I still couldn't do it. I like green. Maybe we'll do green things. Controller, stop drifting. Probably going to have to take care of that after this, because the drift just came back ferociously. I don't remember any of these areas being terribly long, though. I think we're probably already most of the way through it. I wasn't even close on that one. 20 gil. Currency in the universe is good as always. Very golden, very satisfying, very good away from me. These were totally in Final Fantasy IX, except I think they were purple. Fire. Those are those little mer things, right? Fire. Man, I haven't played Final Fantasy IX in forever, either. Fire. Got him. Outplayed. Just gotta, like, aim where they're going. You don't do that with players, because then they can dodge. Buckler. I should probably just do regular attacks because I'm Clavit. I don't know if Clavits are actually supposed to use magic. I think that's just the Ukes? Maybe the Selkies too? Maybe it doesn't matter. Either way, this is definitely faster. Actually, I do take more damage that way though. Maybe for single player, magic is better because you can do it on the run? So outplayed. Man, I'm so much better at 27 than I was at 10. These guys used to kill me. Ooh, we got a chunk of bronze. This is why you kill everybody. Bronze is the first set of materials. A bronze salad. I think that's the headpiece for Ukes. So not useful for us, but bronze gear is the first gear. Then I think there's iron. I don't know that it goes to silver and gold after that. I don't remember. Novice's weapon. Oh, you could actually walk down this. I need to look at the minimap more. I was like, that's so destroyed. How could I possibly go that way? Obtain a stone of rays. I don't know that that's ever relevant since I'm not on multiplayer. It just lets you bring your friends back if they get a little bit less than living. Oh, what do you know? A shortcut back to the beginning? Mashing the button is definitely not a good. I think you have to press it in time sequences. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the three-hit combo every time. But that was the very beginning. We've got fire, so I bring fire pot of oil. Boosh. Also boosh. Carrots. Star carrots. I used to think those looked so good. Like, as a kid, I didn't even like carrots, but I saw star carrots, and I was like, dude, if my carrots were shaped like that, I'd eat them. Granted, I didn't like most things as a kid. A dragon's whisker. I was picky. It seems like the older I get, the more things that I'm just like, yeah, that's good. I wanted to get them both, but I didn't have time to aim it. I don't remember if 
they had voices in the original. Moogle Pocket. In the Moogle Pocket. Yes. We have room for three things now. We can now cast Ice. AKA Blizzard. As per usual Final Fantasy stuff. I can actually read the sign. Right, Moogle House. Left, Old Road, Dead End. And yet, because I took the time to read the sign, it changed the camera enough that I could see this was the best dead end. Bronze Armor. I do believe that's for us. So I think that's the path to the boss, right? Right is Moogle House. Left is Extreme Danger Koopo. We're going to check out the Moogle House. Oh, a caravaner, Koopo. There's no murder tree here, Koopo. Sorry, we can't offer you anything, Koopo. We just moved here, so we really have nothing to offer, Koopo. I love Moogles. Moogles are cool. Little Moogle houses are also cool. There was all kinds of like little hidden mini games and like racings and stuff. There was all kinds of little neat things in this game. I wonder if this affects our magic attack. I don't have wind. But I do have water. If this... Actually, no, I have Blizzard. I was gonna like, dude, what if this increases our ice attack or something somehow? Anyway, I think it's first boss time. Giant crab. It didn't even have a name. I almost feel bad for it when I see all the weapons stuck in it. Too bad it needs to die. Oh my god, it has ads? I don't remember that. Let me see if I can fire him. That's lightning. Great, run under that. Is that almost hit? Wow, that actually, like, moved the health bar. So what's a blizzard gonna do? Eh, it's, like, identical. I like blizzard more than fire, though. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna walk into that. I don't remember what that does. I think it slows you. I just ate that to the face. So now we'll try physical attacks. Perhaps this will be the fastest yet. Yep, it slows you. Just got it launched right into my face. Wow, we managed to dodge that. Nice. Definitely not coincidental. Oh, they actually say Koopo. There's voice acting for boss battles, too. I was about to say, don't you block me, dude. No friendly fire. Chater. Yeah. It is as of course. Always safer to use magic, it seems. And to not have control of drift. Why was I running into him there? We need to get that dice of perfect blood UI alcohol. Huh, I thought this thing had a face too. This was the first boss and I farmed a lot, so I, I, this is probably the boss that I have fought by far the most. So even though it's been more than a decade, I'm still like, giant crab is giant crab, you know? There we go. Oh, 
Oh, it's more vulnerable now. This actually seems less dangerous. Especially since it puts a spot on the floor as long as I don't get hit by the slow stuff. The game is better with friends. But it's still really good alone. As if slowing me would be enough to stop me. That's how you know it's a Final Fantasy game. I hit a crab with a sword and it just exploded. I have zero art skills, so I think whenever I painted the Moogle in the past, I just made him blue. And I was like, I got the only blue Moogle. But this is a mer tree. We need three of these a year, and then the village will be happy and healthy, and everyone lives. Wait for it. Satisfaction. It actually stays like that. Like we have a third of it now. It's like it's like the Final Fantasy X like blitzball sphere thing. And also like those kid cups where like if you like if you hold that thing upside down, the water won't fall out. It'll still stay at the bottom of the sphere. And it's two thirds full, then it's full full. New diary entry. Hail Moogle at your service, Capo. Here and you after go, Capo. every time you get a mer drop. You get mail. It's from Roland. I believe he's the mayor. To our caravan. How is everything? You may be facing hardships that drag your spirits down, but always remember that the caravan gives hope to us all. May you return safely. Crow. From Roland. I mean, isn't this like two or three hours down the road? I'm not even that far from home yet. Oh my god, do I have relationships with my family? Do I actually have to give them things and then get better friendship and then we- Oh my god, I can be closer to my family. Strength plus two. Gain another command slot. Is this permanent buffs? Material for crafting equipment. Iron is amazing. Do I get to keep this? That sounds awesome, dude. More friends on the road. Why, hello there. Oh, hello. Well, how are things going? Fantastic. Well, you've been busy, haven't you? It's about time we got serious, too. We'll get moving tomorrow. Right. Well, see you around. Farewell. Yeah, Alrighty, well next time we'll get our second drop. Maybe even the third? I don't know how the pacing's going to be. Either way, lots of stuff to test out. Lots of new audio things I'm trying. Hopefully this is enjoyable. I know that this is going to be a lot more like chill and like less things to commentate about but i'm just like i really wanted to play this game so like i know let's play it you know we'll have to see what we're gonna do with this anyway thank you guys very much for watching i hope you liked it later everybody